Palestinians in Gaza erupted in celebration as ballistic missiles fired from Iran illuminated the sky over Israel. In Khan Yunus, crowds gathered, waving their phones and shouting slogans such as, God is greatest. In Israel, alarms blared and explosions were heard in Jerusalem and the Jordan River Valley, prompting many residents to seek refuge in bomb shelters. Israeli military spokesman Daniel Hagari later reported that nearly 200 missiles had been launched, but no injuries were confirmed from the attacks. He characterized the missile strikes as serious, warning that they would have consequences. According to Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, the missile launch was a response to recent Israeli operations against Hezbollah in Lebanon and the killing of militant leaders. شهید مجاهد اسماعیل هنیه در تهران و نقض حاکمیت ملی جمهوری اسلامی ایران و همچنین شرارت های اخیر این رژیم جنایتکار در به شهادت رساندن فرماندهان و همچنین رهبر بزرگ حزب الله و مجاهد عظیم جناب سید حسن نصر الله The Iranian forces deployed hypersonic FADA missiles for the first time claiming a 90% success rate in hitting their targets. A senior Iranian official stated that the order for the missile strikes came directly from Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who remains in a secure location. Celebrations also took place in Tehran, where Iranians marked the missile launch as a show of defiance against Israel. In Iraq, celebrations erupted in the capital, Baghdad, and the southern city of Basra. Crowds gathered around the iconic Freedom Monument in Liberation Square, waving Palestinian and Hezbollah flags. In Basra, members of the Popular Mobilization Forces performed traditional dances, brandishing weapons and expressing solidarity with their Iranian allies. The missile strikes prompted a swift reaction from the United States, with Navy warships firing interceptors to protect Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed that Iran would face repercussions for the attack, while Iranian officials warned that any retaliation would be met with severe consequences. The situation has heightened fears of a broader regional conflict, particularly in light of Israel's intensified military actions in Lebanon and the ongoing conflict in Gaza. The Iranian military stated that any direct intervention by Israel's allies would trigger a significant response against their bases and interests in the region. As tensions rise, the prospect of a wider war looms, with the conflict in the Middle East reaching a critical juncture.